Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. So in the last episode, we finished up Chapter 3. And uh, we're now getting ready to start Chapter 4. And let me tell you, Chapter 4, it could pretty much be argued that uh, it's where the main story pretty much starts. And that the first three chapters are pretty much just a prologue uh, to what's going to be happening in the rest of the game. And that makes a lot of sense, actually. I'd probably argue that, too. So, you know, things are going to be a lot different moving into Chapter 4. You know, they already were moving from 1, 2, and 3. We kind of switched storylines over a little bit. But trust me, everything is going to be different here in Chapter 4. So brace yourselves for that. Oh, yeah, and by the way, apparently this isn't the same Drago that was Mecha Drago at the beginning. I, I said it was, but uh, I guess it makes more sense. One's the mother, one's the father. You know, there were two different Dragos. It looked the same shade of green to me. I, I can't tell them apart, but, you know. I guess somewhere deep down inside, I wanted Mecha Drago to be able to be turned back to normal, but... I guess that's not the way things go, huh? Alright, so we're not going to be snapped out of Lucas' flashbacks. And as you can see, if we look close enough, that he's actually grown up quite a bit, so... Alright, let's get ready and start off Chapter 4, Club Titty Boo. Okay, so as I said, Chapter 4, we're going to pretty much get a huge, uh, <laughs> a huge shock here. Kind of slap us into reality here, I guess. As we'll see, there's a there's a train going there. Did we even have those back then? Oh, three years later. Yeah, that's right. An entire three years have passed since the last time that we had control. So, the uh, game pretty much just takes a huge leap there. And uh, as you can see, the place looks entirely different. We've got big houses. We've got roads. We've got mansions. We've got a huge hotel over there. Look what the Yato Inn's turned into. Thomas's Bazaar still looks kind of the same, but we'll see it's changed quite a bit, too. Oh, holy crap, Facade, what are you doing here? Get out of here, man. So I'm sure he's had something to do with what's been happening in the village, right? Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys this is basically going to be what most people would call a quote-unquote time-wasting episode. Uh, I'm going to be checking out the town quite a lot, you know, trying to piece together what's been happening over the last three years. I think it's an important part of playing this game personally, but uh, a lot of other people may not feel the same. So uh, if, uh, <laughs> you know, if you're not really into the whole talking to everybody thing, then this might not be the episode for you, but let's get to it. All right, so we wake up as Lucas, and we've got that awesome bedhead once again. Uh, the game is pretty much starting anew. And even still, after three years, Lucas still has flashbacks of his mom grooming him in the mirror, so... You know, Reggie did say at the near the beginning, people can forget happy things, so people can probably forget sad things too. Well, I don't think Lucas is going to be able to forget that. We can also check the little counter here. Klaus's shoes and the scrap of cloth from Hanama's dress are stored in here with care. So uh, the memory of all those occurrences are still fresh in our mind. While animals are afraid of lightning, the livestock are actually pretty okay with it. Lightning is scary. Kind of, it can be. I don't know, the lightning sound as bad as the thunder for most people. We've got charred black. Yeah, looks like it. I can take you for a walk if you'd like. Hey, that sounds good. Yeah, let's take Boney with us, man. Alright, so Boney has joined our party, which is awesome. Boney's cool. And let's get going, see what's been happening to the town. Hey, you there, boy. I realize this might be a bit of a bother, but please come talk to me. I have very important information for you. Well, you could just tell it to me now. I mean, he only moves right up here. So. From this day forth, you'll be rewarded for your hard work. It'll be given a unit called DP, or Dragon Power. You can use DP in shops and other places in exchange for goods and services. Seems you've already earned 30 DP so far. You can save and withdraw DP anytime by talking to frogs. So, uh, no, please don't explain that again. Time certainly flies, doesn't it? Yeah, you're telling me. Alright, so now whenever we talk to frogs, we can either save or do DP stuff. Which means uh, frogs are basically like ATMs, so we can either deposit or withdraw. I'm going to withdraw the 30 that we have in our balance, which means we'll have 30 on hand. Uh, pretty simple math. You're holding out on saving, but I hope you're not holding out on using the bathroom, too. <laughs> now, I think I got that covered, but, you know, thanks for the concern. So this is Tasmo's famous lightning house. It really is incredible. It's definitely worth coming all the way here to see. It's my house, man. It's not a tourist attraction. Although, I could start charging people for it. I surely love being unhappy, so we refuse to get a happy box after all this. Ah, so is that what's been going on? Simple atmosphere, the smell of livestock and sea breezes. This is the only part of Tasmili that hasn't changed a bit in the past three years. Yeah, we're going to keep it that way if we can. Alright, so now we're heading up to the main part of town. I say the first place that we check out is the Yato Inn. 
and had so much more warmth and friendliness up until three years ago. And we go in here, and this is a pretty big place now. It's got a nice little track to it, though. I kind of like this uh, this song here. DCMC band has a bassist named Lucky. He seems a little bum-like, but apparently he's a really good performer. I see. You're the type that just has to talk to everyone, aren't you? No, no, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I think that's actually a very important thing to do. Hey, at least this guy agrees with me. Here they used to raise cows and pigs where the training facility to the southeast is now. Mr. Facade brought up all the land there. Ah, so he, yeah, he has been playing a pretty major part. It's a happy box here. All right, and now there's also a ch uh, um, I was gonna call it a chest. There's a present we can get over here, and this is the trivia card one. Now the trivia cards are sort of interesting items. Uh, this is probably the only one I'm gonna get though because uh, look at this. You can't throw away the trivia card, so it's taking up a spot in our inventory that we can't get rid of. So that's kind of annoying. Uh, so it says try using it on human enemies. We'll get into that at some point later. I really don't uh, fool with those that much, but welcome. You're not staying guest, yes? Uh, I suppose. So this village has no happy boxes until three years ago. Yeah, and we were doing just fine until then, too. Our auto win has changed so much and gained so many new customers ever since Mr. Facade came to town. Wow, it looks, <laughs> looks like he's been pretty much the, the agent of change here. This hotel's poster girl is so cute. I wonder what her name is. I don't know. Why did you come in here? What was your reason? One, because I was enamoring. Two, so you could flirt with me. Three, because you like me. Four, other. Which is it? Uh, can I go with one through three? I've decided to call you other. You're so boring. Aw. Oh, well, I guess we're not, uh, <laughs> hitting on her anymore. What do you want for lunch? Just anything but that pasta. Croquette rolls are fine with me. No, actually, that's what I'd prefer. But should we keep going until we find a good place to stop? Yeah, apparently croquette rolls, it's like some sort of running joke with the staff or something. I don't really know too much about that, but uh, that, that's some, that's what I've heard anyway. So, you know, if you know something more about it, then feel free to comment on it, I guess. Grandpa and I are supposed to go to the beach after changing to my swimsuit, but I can't take my eyes off this happy box. <laughs> Here, let me help you. I'll stand right in front of you. Okay, go. Quick, hurry. Oh. All right. Oh, jeez, man. We're at seven minutes. Wow. <laughs> this is <laughs> this has gone by a lot uh, quicker than I thought it would. All right. So let's just kind of hurry up and get an overview of the rest of the town. Uh, this is where Thomas's Bazaar kind of used to be. I don't guess it is anymore. Uh, well, actually, yeah, I think so. My dad's working with the factory, so he left me in charge. Would you like to buy something? So now, yeah, we can actually buy and sell. I mean, they've got some equipment upgrades for us here. Obviously, we don't have the money for it yet. Uh, cure some poisoning. Cure some uh, confusion. Some sleep. You know, stuff like that. I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, I'll actually show you how to get a little bit of money here in a little bit if I have the time. Uh, this is Isaac's house. It's pretty much been modernized with everything else. This is a huge uh, oven for turning iron red hot, so he doesn't have to do it himself anymore. And we can head up here. Uh, there's a beach area over to the left, uh, but I think I'm going to just ignore that for now. We'll come back to it later. And this is uh, another store here. This is kind of like the bakery. Uh, we can buy, you know, nut cookies, nut breads, you know, different recovery items like that. Uh, we're going to be using the fresh egg, actually, to get some items, or not uh, so items, but get some money. And we're going to deal with that in a little bit. So Fuel is over here, and this is actually pretty disappointing. If we talk to him, I love helping people out. And that's all he says. You know, Fuel was like kind of an integral character at the beginning of the game, you know, he had lots of personality, but now he's just kind of been degraded into, I love helping people out, and that's it, so, kind of disappointing, but, lightning struck Reggie's tent, but that's what he gets for not having a happy box, uh, so, if you don't have a happy box, you also get struck by lightning, that seems a little bit weird, don't you think, still it sure has a lot of lightning lately, pay attention now, let's be a lesson, punishment falls upon the homes of all bad guys, now how is Reggie a bad guy, I mean, seriously? Out of the way, out of the way. Gah, you're annoying. Shoot, kid, shoot, get. Okay. Lightning used to be Reggie's friend, but now this lightning is bad to Reggie. Oh, man, look at this. Yep, so it looks like Reggie's kind of in kind of a bad way here. It's kind, of, it's kind of nice to know that not everyone has embraced the whole happy box facade thing, you know. Of course, of all the people, I would expect Reggie to be one to, you know, know better than that. We can kind of go along the beach here and uh, get some dolphin ossicles. Open this present here. And there is a reggae rhythm in the present. That's kind of weird. Ah, yep. <laughs> Okay, so we're about to run out of time, but real quick before we do that, I want to get this uh, dolphin ossicle over here and uh, run on back to the store pretty much as fast as I possibly can. 
and uh, I'll show you guys pretty much how to get uh, money really quickly at the beginning of the game. So we can go up to the store here and uh, go into the menu, sell, and we can sell both of these dolphin ossicles for five each. Now we can go to the buy menu and get a fresh egg. And uh, if we get a fresh egg and we sit around with it long enough in our inventory, it'll turn into a chick and then eventually into a chicken, which we can sell for uh, 200 DP. So I'm going to do that real quick. Hang on. All right, so it is now turned into a chicken and we can sell it for a whopping 200 DP. So then, you know, we can use this DP to buy more fresh eggs and sell more chickens and then eventually, you know, pretty much get an infinite amount of money. Uh, but it looks like we're about out of time, so in the next part we're actually going to make some progress. What do you know? So until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.